Welcome back. Alright, let's continue on. Together, we stand. The world has suffered enough. See anyone that's not complete. Tread lightly. Doubt is the heart's greatest challenge. Uh, I don't care. This is not my time yet. for us.
Okay. I'm gone. So. I need to figure out the orientation. We're facing this way. Follow my steps. We won't fall here. I swear it. Retreat is not an option. The world has suffered enough. That's not the solution. Once, once, what? Come on, 15% chance. 15% chance. We are going to succeed at some point. Gone, fiend! Got this land. Okay, I have to give up. Something here. your eyes. Okay. Let us be careful. the wall. <sighs> the absence of an answer is an answer too. Shut up. <laughs> oh, I'm getting warm. It's going to be over 30 degrees today. I'm not liking it. 
Tomorrow's gonna be 40, basically. Uh. Beware of your own powers. You are no longer a grain of sand resting in the countless arms of this. Angel, we get to choose a mythic path. It has to be Angel because we're going the good route. As long as you keep fighting the power of your melee attacks, no thundering blows, no. No. You are able to channel your most friends and figure any coordinating, best tricks, no, but. Insulin move to them, no. Oh. Distracting shots is the so far the best one. shot is the one we're going with. Uh, Thunderag Angels received the ability to cast Mythic Spells. You can either choose to take it as part of the existing full Divine Spellcaster Spellbook or as a standalone spellbook. Standalone spellbook is independent progression of spell slots. The spell slots can be increased with the amount of casting Mythic Feet. In this case, the Magic Spellbook with the So we get to summon a level 3 Paladin. Sword of Heaven. Ranging shots and Angelic. And we can imbue our thing and we get a bunch of stuff. We get to find favor, arrow, law. I like it. The dress closes and the drops of blood spilled on the sort of burst into transparent flames. Wave fire rushes out from the blood and across the entire bar, transforming and bolting it with new colours. Power dispense upon you, suffusing your mortal body and remaking it in a similar it fills your body with grim breaking bones and tearing muscles. While at the same time healing them, you raise your head, acutely aware that the bright light of heaven will be at your back from now until all eternity. It's so light in here. It's all you. You're glowing from the inside. This is just how I imagined the crusade would be. I'd enlist again right now if I could. An angel at the helm of the crusade. Now our triumph is assured. You give all of us hope, right when many are already despairing. You are truly a messenger of heaven. Now's not time to linger.
locks its jaws at the Lord of Locusts. Milady, this creature is about to die. Shouldn't you? Behold, I know the day. Behold the death I saw. You see, Su Chen? Shouldn't has no place here. I've waited for a very long time, but now the hour has come to turn my ideas into reality. I still have things to do in Canopus, but you must leave. Go to the old laboratory. I have a special task for you. Laboratory? I hate that foul place, but I dare not disobey you, my lady. I know what she's up to. Forgive me this little masquerade. Before, I am Arilu Vorlesh, also known as the architect of the world wound. Okay, I don't want to ruin my body anymore. What are we meant to discuss with one of the key figures in our enemy's army, I wonder? <laughs> Watch it! She's deadlier than a dozen demons. Betrayer of humanity. Her words are... You've handled the power of the Sword of Valor well. Such artifacts are almost like living creatures, and they react to their own kind, shall we say. The Sword of Valor once belonged to a mere mortal who became a goddess. It seems to see something kindred in you. Touching you has left the sword irreversibly changed. Now it is your banner, not Iomide's. Although perhaps it will still stop the demons from teleporting to the city as before. Wherever you go, things change. Someone who lived dies, and someone who died is saved. Objects that for one thing become another. Why? Without realizing it, this mad girl just asked a very important question. But for now, I shall let you seek the answer yourself. The Yaniel you freed from the dungeon was merely a mask. Sometimes I like to wear the guise of my fallen enemies, to study them from the inside. The real Yaniel has been gone for a long time, but unfortunately for her, not permanently. Her lot is far more frightening than the one I showed you. Perhaps you will learn the truth one day, but for now, it isn't necessary. That's when you, when we fell into the case and here pointing the way to the Sword of Valor. Why would a half demon do it? I'm creating something, building, studying how the land lies, laying the foundation. I am called the architect for a reason. You don't deserve the name. Architects are creators. They build things. What have you created? A hole between the worlds? A wasteland in place of a flourishing country? Millions of deaths? You are no architect. You are nothing but a vandal. I create... How shall I explain it to you? Events. Phenomena. Concepts. My building site is the entire multiverse. You wouldn't call an architect a vandal just because he started by digging some foundations, would you? <laughs> now be silent. I'm not talking to you. I'm not asking you to trust me. That would be unforgivably stupid. But I suggest, just suggest, that you search, analyze, think. What happened in old Sarkoris? What is the world wound? What is happening to you? Search for your answers. And for now, farewell. Okay, so Sarkoris is where the world wound started. They will break against our resolve. 
You've crossed the wrong mongrel. You won't survive me. Be careful, everyone. Surrender or else. So what's the Halo doing? This sure uh, gains a bonus equal to half angel's mythic rank to AC and saving throws against attacks made against or effects by evil. Ooh. Kneel before me. Attack. Endure this. Too late for apologies. This one's mine. Aim carefully. No contest. Citadel. Oh, actually, no. We're going to end the episode before we enter there because we're going to do all of this stuff and then we'll end. Everyone's getting their next set of mythic abilities. Bob doesn't get any. Last stand, your mission is just there once per day. When your HP drops below, you become a killer for two rounds. Oh. Improved abundant. Casting. So you get more spells. Healing is known fresh by common limitations. Whenever you cast a cure wind spell or another healing spell, it becomes a reach. As they're using a reach spell feed, most of the amount of hit points is now restored spends entirely on your cast level and disregards the limits of the original. Nice. And then you get last stand. Alright, we're going to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button to see more than ever. Catch more to keep up to date. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Till then, bye bye.